Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Jen. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 How are you doing, Jen? I'm good. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and get to work. 我已经准备好撸起袖子加油干了 Oh, I like that phrase. Roll up my sleeves. This means to prepare for hard work. Yeah, and I also like to say buckle down. Yeah, that means the same thing. 对 ，buckle down 也是表示认真做某事的意思。But instead of talking about your shirt sleeve, it talks about your belt buckle. Right. I find that there are a lot of phrases in English that use some sort of clothing in them. 在英语当中，很多习语就跟衣服有关。Yeah, that's true. Why don't we talk about some of them today? 那在今天的节目当中呢，我们就来聊一聊跟 clothing 衣服相关的英语习语。So you like the phrase "roll up your sleeves"? Yeah. It's something I actually do. You know, you want to protect your shirt from getting dirty or just getting in the way, so you roll up your sleeves. It shows that you are serious about something. 对 ，roll up your sleeves 这个习语呢，就是表示卷起袖子做某事，说明对待事情非常的严肃认真啊。因为做事情的时候不想把袖子给弄脏，或者是碍事嘛，就会把袖子给卷起来。You see it in movies when two guys are about to fight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What are some other phrases that use clothing in them? Well, hmm. Do you know "below the belt"? Well, I know no one wants to be hit below the belt, especially boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right there. In a real fight, there's an unspoken rule that you don't hit each other below the belt. It's cheating, unfair, and cowardly. So we can use this phrase about what someone says if it's an unfair comment to somebody. I see. 就在打架的时候呢，有一个不成文的约定，就是不能够打到对方皮带以下的地方，要不然的话就是被视为作弊啊，或者是比较怯懦的行为。那这个表达其实也可以用来表示对某人的言论，比如说在跟某人争论某件事情的时候，却羞辱对方的伴侣。It's like insulting another person's partner when you are having an argument about something. That doesn't involve that person. Right. I know another saying: birthday suit. <laughs> <laughs> Now I know it means naked, not having any clothes on. But I don't know why. This 习语就是表示不穿衣服嘛。不过不穿衣服跟生日有什么关系呢？ Ah, well, you're thinking of your birthday, like your twentieth birthday, and having a party and the clothes you might wear for that. Yeah. So why does it mean naked? Well, think of it more like the day of your birth rather than your birthday. I don't remember that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course not. But you know what you were wearing when your mom gave birth to you? Ah,、uh, nothing. Of course. 那这里的 birthday 不是指你随便哪一年的生日，而是指你出生的那一天。你出生的时候肯定是没有穿衣服的嘛。So birthday suit 就是表示裸体不穿衣服 Right. So that's why birthday suit means naked. Okay. So Colin, do you ever use the idiom "walk a mile in their shoes"? Yeah. The full idiom is "before you judge someone, walk a mile in their shoes," and it means you should try to understand someone before criticizing them. Right. So maybe you don't understand their situation well. Walk a mile in their shoes. 那这个习语呢，就是表示以别人的立场来考虑，换位思考，在批判对方之前呢，先试着去理解对方。Yeah, for example, making fun of someone for being afraid of small dogs, but you don't know that when they were a baby, a small dog bit them. If you had the same experience, you would understand why they are scared. Right, I see. 比如我们有的时候呢会嘲笑他人害怕小狗，但是因为我们不知道他小时候被小狗给咬了，所以呢才会有心理阴影。但是如果我们理解了对方小时候的这个经历呢，可能就不会这么想了。Now, do you know the phrase for being completely surprised by something because you are not prepared for it? It's something very embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, I like this phrase. It's caught with your pants down. <laughs> Caught with your pants now. 那字面上来理解呢，就是一个人在裤子掉下来的情况下被人发现了。那实际表达的意思就是被抓现行，被发现做一些不应该做的事情，然后被抓了现场，非常的尴尬
Like someone walks in on you on the toilet. Yeah, or changing clothes. You are very surprised and not prepared for it. So, how would you use the phrase? Well, you could say the English quiz caught the entire class with their pants down. Ah, they didn't know they would have a test and didn't prepare for one. 比如说，前门学生不知道要考试了，所以没有做准备。这个时候呢，就可以用到这个习语 ，caught the entire class with their pants down. Right. You know, one I have heard but don't understand why it has this meaning is kid gloves. Oh yeah, to treat someone with kid gloves. Right. So I know that it means to deal with them very gently or carefully, but I don't know why children's gloves would mean that. 那这个习语的意思呢，就是表示非常灵活、小心的处理、温柔的对待。不过，为什么是表示这个意思呢 ？Yeah, yeah, I see. Well, kid gloves does not mean children's gloves. Kid also means a baby goat. And the leather from a baby goat is some of the softest leather in the world. Oh, I see. So kid 在这里并不是指小孩的意思，而是指的小羔羊。而这种羔皮手套是非常柔软的。So if you use kid gloves, you are being gentle because the gloves are very soft. Exactly. I didn't know a baby goat is called a kid. I feel as if I were caught with my pants down. <laughs> <laughs> 没有想到 kid 这个单词呢，还有小羔羊的意思，这个我完全不知道。Well, a lot of people don't know that, including some native English speakers. You know, we usually say baby goat, not kid. Okay, well that makes me feel better. Good. Oh, I have one more for you. Okay, shoot. Fine tooth comb. Fine tooth comb. I know this one. If you go through something with a fine tooth comb. You examine it very carefully. 那这个短语呢，直译是表示细齿梳子的意思，它也有仔细搜查的意思。That's right. Well done. Well, I think that's enough for today. We better roll up our sleeves and get back to work. <laughs> right. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So thanks for listening. This is Colin. This is Jen. See you next time. Bye. Bye.